on fucking Mars. If the sky's your limit, then you'll never go far. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back. Today is still Sunday. Um, like I said, I want to record another video before I finish off this uh, part. Before I just quit um, playing for today, hopefully we can finish this mission. Um, don't know how long this video is going to be. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes? I don't know. Holy shit. The light... The sun is shining right on my TV and it's making a huge blind spot where I can't see much. Um, so I want to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Um, and what I want to see with it or from it before I decide to buy one. Um, so honestly, uh, first things first, I want to see Nintendo fix whatever problems they're having. Problems with their Joy-Con, problems with their screen. I just want Nintendo to do another quality control test to make sure that their products actually work. Um, more specifically, I've been hearing the tablet is having problems, and Nintendo addressed it by saying that the Switch uses an LED screen. So if, you know, um, give me a second. Yeah, Nintendo basically said that, hey, we use an LED screen, and Jesus Christ, I'm moving this, give me a second. So that huge white spot that was uh, making it hard for me to see is just completely gone now. I just moved, um, I had this giant polar bear plush in my room because I love polar bears. And it was pretty cheap. I'm like, hey, I'll pick it up, whatever. It makes for a nice pillow. But, um, oh my god, dude, what the hell? Okay, I'm pretty sure I just bruised the inside of my face. Okay, whatever. I don't care. It's not worth talking about right now, actually. It's not that important. But, yeah, I moved the polar bear, and now that white, uh, giant marking, or the white screen, basically that white spot where I couldn't see the TV because it was shining on the, um, the polar bear was shining on the TV screen is gone now, so that's good. Um, but yeah. Certain people are having problems with their Nintendo Switch tablet, which, if you guys don't know anything about the Switch, the tablet is the console. That little dock you use on your TV is not the console. All the dock is, is a connection for HDMI power and like three USBs, and there's a, uh, um, the USB-C in the bottom of the tablet puts into the dock and then it transfers the, um, the screen visuals onto there, so. When it comes to Nintendo Switch, the actual um, console is the tablet, not the dock. So, yeah, the Switch console is, um, it uses an LED screen, and some people are, are reporting dead pixels on their systems. So, Nintendo decided to say, hey, since the Switch uses an LED screen, dead pixels are nothing major on, you know, those type of screens. But it's like, dude... I pay $300 and your console comes with a dead pixel or two. Now, that's not good. I'm not trying to return my shit either. Um, you know, I don't like... One thing, and I thought about this this morning too. I don't know why this came to mind, but... I was looking at my watch and I thought, hey, my warranty on my watch is already up. My warranty's not coming back. You know, it's already been a year and I only had a limited one year warranty. And then it made me think, a lot of people return their shit, like, before the warranty is up so they can get a new one. I don't like to do that. I only like... To, what the fuck? I didn't want to pick that up. Carmine, you don't say that <sighs> sorry. It's like, I don't like to do that. I'd rather you see how long my shit lasts instead of sending it in for warranty. Like, you know, my mom was saying because this year is when my two-year warranty on my Wii is up. She's like, oh, take your Wii to um, Best Buy and get a new one, you know, for your warranty. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. What the fuck? Like, and that was my literal response to her. I'm like, why the fuck would I do that? That's fucking stupid. Once again, my literal response to her. I'm not, like, exaggerating. It's like, why would I do that? That's stupid, you know? My system still works. I'm not going to return it and get a new one. That's absolutely pointless. And that's pretty shitty to do, you know? So, I was seeing him, like, you know, why would you, you know, why doesn't Nintendo do better control? And my cousin responded to me with something because he has a Nintendo Switch. Um... He responded to me with a picture from Reddit where someone was talking about Nintendo's master plan. That's just the best way I can describe it, where it's like, hey, maybe they released the Switch early, so, you know, people who wanted it could play it early before, you know, the final version comes out. Like, it was a good elaborate thing, but I'm just like, dude, I'm not enough of a Nintendo fanboy to purchase the Switch right now with all these problems. Um, another problem. On the Nintendo Switch, you save all your memory, whatever games you have on your, um, save data. That's what I'm trying to get to. Save data. You can't transfer save data over to an SD card or anywhere else. There's no removable storage. All your save data is saved, or, yeah, all your save data is saved onto the, um, the tablet. So it's like, 
if you run out of space, you have to delete shit. You can't transfer it over to an SD card. Hopefully, they'll fix this later with an update or a patch. But as of right now, if you run out of memory on like your three games that are out, you're sh you're screwed. You can't transfer anywhere else. Which you know, a lot of people will probably be like, "Oh, what do I care?" You know, I don't have that many games for it. You know, that's still a shitty thing. You know, I don't want to have to even on my Xbox One. I'm running out of memory, so I have to delete stuff. But that's why I'm trying to play games and delete them. But Save data is a different thing that shouldn't take up a lot of space, and it's just, what the fuck is the point, honestly? Um, another thing, I need more games to come out, honestly. The Wii U had some good game releases, but there's not that many games on it. So, hopefully with the Switch, they put out more games, honestly, more fun games. Because if, you know, if they don't have many games for it, I don't feel like buying it. The only games I'm looking at right now are Splatoon 2, um... And that's about it. You know, the new Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is also on Wii U. So why would I buy a Switch to play that? You know, it looks it, it looks identical with a, maybe a slight few changes. But the Switch version to the Wii U version looks identical. I see no point in having to buy a Switch right now just for Legend of Zelda. And that's about the only game there is out for it. There's also like 1-2 Switch, Bomberman, which are alright, you know. Um, I've heard 1-2 Switch is a good game, but just not worth the full retail price they're asking. Um, I think Bomberman is out, actually. I don't know. I know they also are releasing uh, Street Fighter again on, like, the older system, and that just makes me think, like, what is the point? Like, you know, I could play, um, Street Fighter on pretty much any console out right now. I could play it on PlayStation, uh... You know, PS2, whatever. Like, Street Fighter is not really, like, a major point for me. No fighting games are major points for me to want to purchase a system. Like, what I want to see is, like, more, um... First-party support games. Like, you know, if I want third-party games, that's what I have a PC for. I look more for consoles for, like, exclusives. Which, now, thanks to, um... Windows 10 and Xbox, exclusives are kind of, like, a thing of the past because... Now most Xbox games could be, well not most, but a lot of like major Xbox games could be played on Windows 10, which is kind of like, damn dude. If you have a PC, you might not need an Xbox anymore for certain games. Uh, like Forza, Gears, um, Bi I was about to say Biohazard or Bioshock, but um, you know, just, there's, if I want third party support, I'd look more toward PC. If I want first party, i look towards a console, and with Nintendo, I want nothing but first party, honestly, because... Nintendo makes good games if they actually try, which, recently, I don't see them trying much, honestly. Um, and I don't have a list for this either, I'm just going off the top of my head. Let's see. Sorry, as I was getting up, I was trying to check my phone. Just, Nintendo, I'll look into getting a Switch, honestly, towards the end of summer. I want to see them fix their problems, and then, yes... Then I could put some thought into if I want to buy one. But right now, from what I'm seeing, I don't. I don't even want to think about buying one right now. If you have one and you enjoy it, let me know. I know my cousin and his friend both have one and they love them. But me, like I said, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy to want to buy one right now. And that's what the Switch is right now. It's a Nintendo fanboy's console. Once again, just like the Wii U, the tablet is extremely gimmicky. In my opinion, plus... The layout of the tablet with the Joy-Cons, I hate how there's that one, um, those two cutout pieces at the top of the tablet where the Joy-Cons connect. I hate how they don't sit lined up. But that's just me. What do you guys think about the Switch? What do you guys think about just everything going on right now? Like, I also notice a lot of people are, like, saying, oh, the PlayStation 4 has Forza, or no, Horizon Zero Dawn, um... The Nintendo Switch and we are Nin so Sony has Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Nintendo has um, what you call it? Has Zelda. What does the Xbox have? And it ends up showing like Netflix. It's like, dude, I love my Xbox. Like, a lot of people talk shit about the Xbox One, and I used to too. But you know, so far my Xbox One, I love it, and I've gotten more enjoyment out of it than my Wii U, and I've had my Xbox One shorter too. So, you know, just right now, Nintendo Switch doesn't look like anything major to me. It's not even on my radar. Nintendo, fix your shit, fix your stock issues, because seriously, 
Nintendo fucks around with their stock a lot. Look at what happened with Amiibos. Look at what happened with the NES Classic. Look what's happening with the Switch. They don't release enough consoles. People buy a bunch of consoles and they sell them on like eBay or Facebook scalping them. You know, fucking scalpers, bro. Okay, so let's try to just see what we can do with five minutes because we're... Oh, we're already on section three. So actually, no, we're done. I don't want to move on any further because I'm just running out of topics. But seriously, Nintendo, if you're ever going to watch this, I doubt you're going to watch this. I doubt Nintendo even knows who the fuck I am. But Nintendo, if you're listening, fix the Switch and fix your stock issues. Because seriously, you guys are laughed at a lot. Because yes, you may make a lot of money off of your diehard fucking fanboys. Here's the thing, fam. I'm not your fucking fanboy. I'm not going to fucking purchase everything you do. Especially if you release limited stock to try to boost your sales. Trust me. You're not helping yourselves at all by making this limited stock. You're actually helping someone else make more money because you're helping scalpers out. Unless, here's just a wild fucking conspiracy theory. Maybe all these scalpers are Nintendo workers who are trying to boost sales. I don't know. Fucking out there theory. That's more out there than fucking aliens and ghosts. Which, you know, ghosts seem realistic to me. But, seriously Nintendo, fix the Switch, release more games, quit fucking around with your stock, and guess what? I'll be a happy customer. But until next time, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with whatever the hell Android game I'm playing. I don't even know. I haven't had anything downloaded. But I didn't know Thursday and Friday we'll be back with more Gears of War Quick Play. So until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.